This is my grandson's replication of Velko Melkovic's two-stage mechanical oscillator. I gave him an old girl's bicycle frame that he uh, cleaned up and painted up and we made a uh, steel bushing, machined out of steel bushing to mount the precision uh, ball bearings in. It's got a 5-8 shaft through it and he made a real nice A-frame to mount it in and got it mounted in there and we've got a spring to assist the uh, head when it comes down. We machined out a piece of stainless steel and uh, an aluminum pivot up there to put it on ball bearings and hooked it all up with a ready rod and I found an old uh, SSG circuit and coil that I started out with years ago that's not very efficient but uh, it does power this thing so thought maybe I'd fire it up here and let you see what it does I've already got the battery hooked up so I think all I gotta do is just start the weight swinging This is the end where the work is taken off. We plan to uh, put a uh, flux gate generator out here. We've got to make the coils and, and get it mounted and figure all that out. So we got quite a bit of work to do there. Right now it's just going up and down and hitting the stops. This is what the pulses look like across the power transistor. It's uh, some of the time it's double pulsing and some of the time it's triple pulsing. It's about 400 milliseconds between pulses so for a complete cycle that's about 800 milliseconds. So about eight tenths of a second uh, per full swing. As you can see the pendulum is not swinging as far as it could. Uh, if we Give it a little more swing, it has quite a bit more power. It's a lot harder and does more work. So we need to beef up the electronics a little, but it works. So I thought that was a pretty good accomplishment for my 17-year-old grandson.